Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Four-Sided Fantasy. Last episode, we left off bouncing on this thing, and we want to somehow get over there, on top of that ledge. And I'm not entirely clear on the concept of how we want to do that. Can we do it? You know, we don't go high enough such that the ground vanishes. That doesn't change our jump height at all very much. We definitely can't make that jump normally, right? Oh! But we can do that! Yeah, there we go. Oh, well, I, I botched that, but... Okay, so let's just... Let's scroll the screen, there we go. That makes it much... Much easier, it's a much bigger target. Ta-da! It's like magic. We have another one over here. Oh, that's weird, the- the foreground grass really freaked me out. Alright, so what is our objective this time? That? Ooh, hmm, those are just slightly too far apart, aren't they? And that launches us about the same height, right? Hey, did it! That's really cool. We have a lot of momentum control in the air. Oh wow. Are we a different person now? That- the hairstyle looks different. Is that just me imagining things here? Oh, I see. That's not really gonna work the way I was hoping it would. That's a bit better. Oh, no, that's not a bit better, actually. Huh. Oh, well, that was completely terrible. Yeah, we don't want to do that. We just want to jump over the static in the center here? Can we make that jump? I guess we're gonna find out in a moment here. Because we can't- we can't warp the platform to the other side, there's a wall on either side here. Oh, we can make that jump! But the question is, where do we stand in the meantime? Because that platform doesn't move fast enough. There's, we can't wrap it, to my knowledge. Oh man, I, I missed that time. I do like the sound of thunder a lot, so hearing it in this game is really nice. Oops. Why is it blinking there? You, you see that, where it's, it's like, sort of blinking the shadows away a little bit? This is really lovely ambient music, by the way. If I haven't mentioned it already. I think I'm doing something desperately lo wrong. Uh, hmm. Oh! <laughs> why didn't I just do that before? Because I wasn't thinking clearly. That's why. Clever. I like that. Whoops. Oh. Huh. Did I miss my opportunity to get that? I think that's necessary, right? Yeah, I can't reach it from here. So it is necessary, so we do have to get that. 
I hit my head on something here. What is this? There's something in there that I can't see. And I'm hitting my head on it. I love how the rain fades out when I'm in the- the screen wrap mode. That is cool. Oh right, this is, uh... Then why wouldn't it help me... Hmm. Duh. I'm not- I'm not thinking with screen wrap here. Oh wait. Yeah, this isn't higher. And that's too far away to be of any use. On this platform... low enough for my jump to be high enough? Well, that's too low. That's still too low, so I don't think that's the solution. Never gonna help me. I could fall infinitely, but there's no way to convert my velocity at all. Definitely can't get it that way. If I do this, the ceiling is here. So I can't wrap to it at all. I'm genuinely stuck here. I don't know what to do. I'm an idiot. I am such an idiot! I can just walk along the bottom! <laughs> oh man, I'm so sorry guys. You were- you, you saw that a long time ago and I didn't. Yeah, that was plain and obvious right there. Alright. 
Oh, I think this is in the trailer, actually. Yeah. That's cool. Whoa! That was- that was actually quite shocking. Oh, okay. Well, alright then. So, what we want to do is use the column as a platform to stand on right here, and then jump to there. Yeah, cool! I like that. I'm starting to understand this now. I'm starting to get the hang of things. Oh, what are those? Oh, we can- we can pile them up. That's, uh... That is quite frightening right there. They are stacking on top of each other now. But we do need to get in there, apparently. Let me... let me just... figure this out. There we go. And then we run roughly at the same speed. There we go, so that's how you do it. That was okay, I like that. Oh, we need blue as well! Ah, so that's what that upper path is for, then. Alright. He wants to go this way. Huh. That's the issue. Yeah, can I just do that? I guess they're just reminding us that we can do that. There's another security camera over there. Cool stuff. Alright, let's continue. Over here to the... the barriers. The fizzlers, if you will. I'm gonna call them fizzlers now. Although, I don't actually know whether they're fizzlers or barriers, I can't... Like, I'd have to think about it for a while to... to determine whether... It's one way or the other. Oh hey, it stops the shooty things for me. That's nice. Hey, did it. Awesome. <laughs> I like these little intermission areas, where there's not very much happening. You can just walk around. Alright, so we need... just yellow. Alright. How do I want to approach this one? Oh, like this. I can just jump over it, yeah. <laughs> Ta-da! Did it. There's nothing over here for us, alright. Very cleverly designed. I imagine it must- the playtesting must be brutal for this. Because there's so many places that you can use this ability that would be unintended. Hey, now we're upside down! And now the screen's fading out. Achievement unlocked just at the beginning. Where are we now? Somewhere where the screen wrap is on permanently, I'll tell you that much. Hey, 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 hey! Hey! Now that is cool, so the gravity changes when you rap as well. <laughs> yes, that is cool. Alright, let's 
change our gravity. I think I understand the gravity of the situation. I hope. I'm gonna do it here, so that we don't kill ourselves. There we go. Yep, gravity of the situation understood. What happens if I try to go up? <laughs> if you try to fall into the sky, it just sends you back down as the other. Oh, that is cute. What about... what about here? Whee! <laughs> oh, the, the camera freaked out there a little bit, but that's fine. Probably don't expect people to go up there anyway. Peaceful. Oh, hello, house. Or barn, or whatever you are. Oops, uh, I was not quick enough on the draw. Hmm... I think I want to reverse here first... ...and then... Do I? Let's see here. Oops, nope, that is definitely not right. Oh, and it, the checkpoint's there, so that's nice. Hmm. Yeah, thought so. Yeah, that- I should've expected that. Hey, okay. I was worried about the static up there, but I didn't realize I had so much headroom above me. Okay. I knew it had to be something like that to gain height. More, uh, barn houses, I guess? They're red houses. I don't normally see red- Oh, that, uh... That- that threw me for a loop there. Do we need both colors? Ah, okay, so we, we need both colors that can go in both directions, it seems. Oh, look, that was, uh... Well, lesson learned. Yep, same thing. I think I was actually supposed to go this one first, because of how slow it is, but whatever. I got it either way. Actually, the- the whole reversing gravity on the other side, that kind of reminds me of, uh... I forgot the name. Abduction. Abduction. I don't know why it reminds me of Abduction, but... I was thinking of how the- you end up on the opposite end of the sphere in that game. That... is... strange... and worrisome. What? It moved? Or is that- what? Excuse me, game? Oh, the gravity... the gravity changes when I change. Well, alright then. Huh. Okay. I kinda have an idea of how to do this, sorta. There we go. Did it. Kinda. 
sort of. That was actually quite tricky. It's a really cool effect, by the way. And we will continue with Foresighted Fantasy in the next episode, so as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it. You can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye!